Hi everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A where I, Mark, a former scuba diving instructor, do my very best to answer your scuba diving questions. So if you do have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comments section underneath this video. And if you use the Ask Mark hashtag in your comment, you get yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. Uh, so do be sure to subscribe to the channel so you do get the answer, uh, but I do type out an answer in the comment section in the meantime so you do get an answer and you don't have to wait for the video to come out uh, today i'm answering a question from darren grierson about dive computers So Darren says, I'm about to start a diving internship uh, that will last about a year to become an instructor. And I haven't been able to decide on a dive computer computer. I'm looking for a watch style. I had some recommendations from a friend I have that is an instructor. And I'm currently trying to decide between the Sunto D6i and the D5. Shearwater is a little out of my price range and I don't have access to Cresci. Uh, which would you recommend? I'm open to other recommendations. Recommendations. So I'll throw an extra consideration at you with the Garmin Descent G2 or the Descent Mark 1 and 2 uh, if they still make the Mark 1 uh, uh, only because the Garmin computers are packed with a lot of extra features like heart rate monitors and GPS and just much more than most other dive computers and the solar version of the G computer recharges itself in the sun so if you're doing your internship somewhere nice and sunny uh, it's literally recharging whenever you're outside uh, as far as the computers that you listed i used myself the uh, the d6i for a few seasons um uh, i have in one of these so that's a that's a d6i that's a d4 um and i think i've got a d that's a d6 that one's still ticking that's impressive um that's a DX. Uh, so yeah, the, the D range of Sinto computers, I've, I've played with a few. I just find them very easy to use, to navigate, and it just has everything that you need, especially a D6i. If they still make the D6i, it's this model, I think, well, they've got the D6 Novo, whether it's the D6i Novo, because the I means that it's wireless air integrated. Um, the, the straps have worn out and I just remove them. Uh, that's why these two don't have straps and these are metal straps so they don't really wear out. Um, but yeah, I just find them very easy to, uh, to use. Um, I also use the D5 for a few weeks. I had one on loan and it has a nicer color screen and some more surface features, especially compared to the D6i at the cost of battery time. Uh, if you run it at full brightness, you do need to top it up quite often, uh, especially if you're diving every single day, the D5. Um, so I'd stick to those three choices and then just decide kind of what suits your lifestyle best, uh, whether it's something that's going to last a long, long time because the, the, the these old like LCD screens, as you can tell, the, the battery lasts forever. Uh, whereas the battery life, the rechargeable battery life on a D5, the color screen, you're only going to get a few days out of that at best. Um, but I definitely recommend that you take a look at some of the Garmin computers before making uh, your choice. Um, but pff, yeah, since, since I make a lot of dive computers and a lot of divers use them and they're good, solid all-rounders. And yeah, I just like the, uh, the, the navigation something about it. I don't know whether it was because Sunto, yeah, Sunto was my first dive computer. Um, so whether, that's just kind of like ingrained in the back of my mind just how to navigate it but i just find it very easy to navigate Sunto computers they're very clean with like sort of select and menu up down and whatnot and personally i just find them very easy to use and when i was teaching i think all of my computers when i was teaching were Sunto. so yeah if you're looking to become an instructor yeah you'd be perfectly fine um D6i Novo, I think is the current model. Uh, yeah, it is much the same. It's just had a few upgrades over the, uh, my regular D6i. And otherwise, yeah, Garmin, if you can get hold of Garmin wherever you are, um, definitely worth looking at at least because they have 
yeah, heart rate monitor and all that kind of stuff, but they also do like swimming and hiking and um, it, some of them connect to your phone. Some of them, uh, depending on the um, uh, the outlet, you can pay for things through like Google Pay or something. I don't know, it's Garmin Pay or Garmin Bank, whatever they call it. Uh, so it's, it's a more, it is like an Apple Watch and it also goes scuba diving, like the Apple Watch Ultra, uh, if that's in your price range, because that's not it's not an awful dive computer. It's a very, um, it's a good solid dive computer. It just doesn't have all the fancy bells and whistles. Uh, so if you're not going technical diving, uh, it doesn't have those like bells and whistles, but for like recreational stuff, keeping it above 40 meters, does everything that you need. Uh, but yeah, the Garmin, the G, G2, I think it's called, um, yeah, that has a solar version, which is cool. And it just means that you don't have to recharge it quite as frequently when you're out and about because it's naturally topping itself up as you go. And it has a LCD screen, very uh, dot matrix screen. So it's got low power drain like the uh, the D6, but it's, a, it's that dot matrix, so it's very easy to understand and it can spell things out very nicely on the screen. Uh, so yeah, it's like best of both worlds. So that I would definitely recommend you at least look at and consider. Um, but if you do end up going for the Sunto um, D5 versus D6, you're going after that color screen. Color screen with the rechargeable battery against a more fundamental basic screen. You'll still get all the information on that screen. The battery will last a good few years, um, but it is quite nice to have that uh, intuitive color screen because when things start changing color, you know, oh, okay, I need to pay attention to that particular piece of information. Instead of having to look at the screen, scan everything, notice that that thing is wrong, and then ascend or do whatever it is that the computer's trying to suggest that you do. Uh, whereas when it's color coded, your eyes are naturally drawn exactly to that piece of information that you need to look at. So those are the considerations, uh, but otherwise, yeah, they're all good solid choices. Um, whichever one you end up going for is gonna be a good choice. Yeah, I think every computer that I used whilst I was teaching was a Sunto computer and they did end up being like watch sized computers as well just because when you're living the life of an instructor it's just easy just to always have it on your wrist as opposed to oh where's my dive computer I've got to bump and then strap it on and also getting kitted up is a bit neater because they're much more low profile. Some of them can be quite chunky. The, the DX was quite a, a chunk of a, of a computer, but just trying to get that sleeve in can be a lot easier with a, a wrist mounted, or sorry, a watch sized dive computer instead of one of the bigger like puck sized dive computers. So um, yeah, they, that was my natural choice when I was teaching. Um, but yeah, yeah, if you click up here, there will be a link to our affiliate dive center near you. Uh, it uses like your, your IP address to work out which is nearest and, uh, and it will head you over there if you're in the market for a new dive computer or any other piece of scuba diving equipment. Um, if you have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video and use that Ask Mark hashtag. It gets yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. Head over to the website scubadivermag.com and all over the social media websites, uh, scuba diver mag and of course remember to like share subscribe to the scuba diver magazine channel if you haven't already for more awesome content uh thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving